welcome back to As I Play Dying. Hey, everyone. We're in a shrine. We the, are. The Hadahamar shrine. The what? Hadahamar. <clears throat> oh, God. Okay. Hadahamar. There we go. Oh, no. Can you ice out of the wall? You can. You totally can. Oh, my God. That is the entire existence of the shrine's purpose. No. Oh, I've fallen. <laughs> I've fallen. <laughs> <laughs> uh you thought you was you thought you were hot stuff. You thought you were cool. I felt so ca oh my god, Sam, stop it. Sorry. <laughs> but I got more. <laughs> Wait, that's gonna be too hot. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's not gonna be too high. Oh, okay. There you go. You can climb them. That's exactly what you failed to do on the wall though, so I wasn't sure if it was gonna work. The walls and shrines are not climbable. I see. Yep. But this is cool. your ice blocks still are. Good thing these stairs are climbable. Oh Pachinko! I told you. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't take long. I didn't know it would only take one additional shrine, but yeah. still. How many um, ice blocks can you do at a time? Three. Okay. Donk. Oh, you Rube Goldberged it! Oh my god! Yep. Oh my god, this game. Yep. This uh, is, uh, oh, okay. okay. It Close. just it fell a little too huh? early, so let's. Do that. Um. Well, this is super cool. Yeah. It's rad. So, oh. Mm. Oh, interesting. And then I gotta bounce it off. Interesting. One more. How long are those ice blocks gonna stick around? Forever, as long as you have three of them. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> yep. Wow. Or until so they, unless it, they get destroyed, which you can destroy them yourself, or enemies can destroy them. Okay, but they don't just elapse. Yep. So you've got ice and Magnet. magnetism. Yep. And stasis. Yep. And then one other one, right? What's the and, other one? Uh, bombs. the bombs? Okay. Cool. It's, uh, it's a cool little, uh, little little magic tool belt you got there. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> From a certain perspective, this could be ice and electricity. Okay. And then this is ancient, which is this game's version of light. Oh. So there'll be other applications of that. Maybe. Oh, she's got a veil. Yeah. That's cool. There are, like I said, these guys have slightly different designs, which mm -hmm. I think is... I like the subtle differences. I think that's why they don't animate, for mm -hmm. one. And I don't think they need to. I think it works perfectly fine. Yeah. As it is. Well, they're not even supposed to be alive necessarily, really, are right, they? So yeah. They're kind of like mummified. Yeah. Uh, things. And I got a spirit orb. Sweet. Yep. Take my spirit orb, child. All right, I took it. Go forth and play the tambourine behind Dave Matthews. I actually really don't mind Link's early game outfit, the old. May the goddess smile upon you. The old shirt and pants. Oh, no, me neither. And I don't even mind his beginning outfit. Oh, the, just no shirt and no pants? Yeah. <laughs> we could go shirtless. We could. <laughs> I'm not going to, though. Probably wouldn't be good for commentary. No. <laughs> My, uh, they had they had Reggie fils on on uh, CBS's morning show uh -huh. the other day to talk about Zelda. Uh -huh. And one of the hosts was like, My daughter loves the new Zelda game because Link is hot. <laughs> and then Reggie goes, Yeah, Link is hot. <laughs> 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 oh, Reggie. I love that guy. Oh, hey, look, a familiar face. Now his body's ready. Oh, please tell me that's who I think it is. It is. I just... It is! Oh, God, he's got thighs now. <laughs> yeah, well, he's carrying around a giant beetle backpack. Yeah, he is. But Wait, is that is he a girl now? No. Okay, it's just, so. he's just wearing a midriff shirt. Yep. But watch watch what ha where he gets a storefront from when you talk yeah. to him. I don't <laughs> believe I've made your acquaintance. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, let's just stick with Beetle. You can remember me by my Beetle-shaped backpack. Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock many special bugs and must have items for travelers, and I will always charge a fair price. Oh, my name's not Beetle, and it is! <laughs> ah -ha 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 -ha. He kind of looks like the, uh, the strapping farm lad that you find totally. in, in yeah. so many adventures. He's like Sir Kay from, uh... Sword in the Stone. <laughs> I don't want the waters, my squire. I love Beetle. I've always loved Beetle. Thank you! Oh my god, people that are alive. Yeah. We've actually discovered a, uh, a village now. A village. This is just a stable. This is this oh, game's okay. take on the inn. So there are a bunch oh. of these around, and it's one cool. guy who owns a fleet of stables. It's kind of like a yurt. Yeah. Look at that donkey! Yep. Oh, look at that ass. Because they also no, call. I got you, okay, yeah. dude. I, okay. Trust me, I got okay. it. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm actually impressed that you've made it this far, not knowing that. I can't have it on my conscience if something happens to you from here. So I'll give you one of mine. She gave me an elixir. <laughs> <laughs> I got a swimsuit. I need a swimsuit body. 
So yeah, everybody has slightly unique designs, which is easy because they can just paint. This man, for example, has no nose. <laughs> yeah, he does. Eh, that's probably more of a lump. Okay. Like a like a, a mole, conveniently placed. Eh, I'm not gonna buy anything because I have no rupees. I have zero rupees. What was his name? I missed it. Sorry. Agnes. Agus. Agus. Ag Agus. Yeah. Agus. Agus. Look at their little pompadours. Oh God, they're pompadourable. I'm a. I'M A MOTHERFUCKING CUCKOO! <clears throat> so some of these people here have side quests, which we're not gonna get into, but... Mm -hmm. Like, these guys here are looking for some bandit treasure. Oh, this is cool! Yeah. I've got the scoop on Miss Girl's treasure, it's great! Listen up, Doc! Ah. Prison, hang on! <laughs> They're twins. Hey, buddy, what's your problem? You aren't being incredibly rude and listening to our conversation, are you? We're treasure hunters on the trail of our latest scar. The treasure of the great bandit, Misko. It's as good as ours. Huh? Person, you're gonna give it all away. Uh. Sorry, Doc, I got carried away. What I got, gotta give it to your mama. <laughs> what I got, you gotta give it to your papa. So, no. Yeah, do a little dance, and then you drink a little water. I would talk to him, and then he'd say that he'll tell us the secret to find Misko's treasure for 100 rupees. Oh, and you'd I'll, be like, fuck that! And I'll be like, I I'll pull it out of your still-beating corpse! <clears throat> exactly, and I'll be like, I don't have 100 rupees. Yeah, but I have <clears throat> 100 swords. <laughs> you know what might help us get to where we need to go a little faster, Sam? A hot-footed frog? A horse. <gasps> oh, of course! And there's one right there. Indeed. So now But that horse is wild! What are you gonna do about that? I'm gonna sneak up on it. Gonna I'm, get all Mongolian on that I'm shit? I'm gonna make it mine, yeah. Nice. So... <clears throat> horses and women. Spotted horses like that one require very little stamina to take. Oh god damn it, Keese! <laughs> I got you anyway! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, somebody's upon me! So horses uh, just kind of follow their own laws. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> early on in the game, they, like he see he's getting fussy and not doing what I tell him to. Now. Right, they're, then, they're a sovereign nation. Yeah, and then you can command them to go a different way, and once they agree, they will. Uh, then you can soothe them. And if you make happy. a well-reasoned case. Yep, but I'm gonna reg. Whoop! That's not who I wanted. To okay. Horse! <laughs> what? I just pushed the wrong button there. That wasn't the horse's fault. Get your paws off me, you damn dirty Hylian. Now, Sam, is the time that you get to name a horse. Oh, yes! Fantastic. Do you oh. know about our stable system? I don't have 20 rupees, which is what it's going to cost. You can build your horse companions here. You may have come across wild horses in your travels. For example, the one upon which you are currently yes. seated. Oh, okay, so you can actually build yourself a stable. Yeah. Of horses? Yes. Hey! Nice. Um, okay, but... I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it, because I don't have any rupees. Mm. Yeah. What okay. are we... Okay. Yeah. It's... It's fine. Mm, so you won't be registering, then? Nope, I can Unfortunate. These, d these guys do have a totally Mongolian aesthetic about them. They do, yeah. The horses cool. even look like the Mongolian horses. Okay, let me just sell some stuff to Beetle, and then okay. we'll get back on the road. Oh, hello again! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> uh, my biggest sadness about Hyrule Warriors is that, uh, well, Grease wasn't playable. And then secondarily that Beetle wasn't. He seemed like a shoe in <laughs> There's so much you could do with him as a playable character. Yeah, that uh, was a missed opportunity. He even has a helmet. How many would you like to sell me? Mm, 330 rupees, thank you! I'll buy anything. I kind of do want to give him a Paul McCartney voice, though. I mean, he's, he has the Beatle haircut. Get you back here, you fucking piece of shit horse! So I'll just be going now that- Oh no, he's upon me again! Yeah. Okay, don't worry, I'm broken. Um, I'll well, listen to you. Better horses require actual, like- Oh, better horses! Oh, okay! Oh, okay! Better horses, better than me! Why don't you just go ride a better horse, then? Because they're hard to catch. This horse has fucking Fabio hair. You can actually- This is crazy! You can change their hairstyles. <laughs> You can? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. He can braid his mane. Yep. I don't know what you can do with it, but... This game is everybody's dream come yeah. true. <laughs> what do you want to name the horse? Um... I know you've been waiting for this. Uh, f f uh, f Fabio. Just name it Fabio. Great. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Are, are you sure you want to name this horse Fabio? Take horse. Oh. Hey. Whoa! No, we paid him for a saddle and Suddenly stuff. he was bridled. And now you can whistle. But they're not magic. They don't just come if they're not close to you in this game. You actually have to be near the horse. What are you... Nothing. What are you laughing at? Nothing. I'm not laughing at anything. 
So you actually have to be, like, in audible range of the horse. Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, I like that they went with the stocky plains horse kind of build and not the, uh, Black Beauty th style Yeah, definitely. Thing. There are many different horses in this game, too. God damn it, horse. But this one is mine. Yeah. Where, which way am I going? Okay, I'll cross this bridge. This is for fighting and fun. And you can do all sorts of cool things with a horse, like jump off of them in combat. God, his fucking mane and tail are so cool. Yeah. It's God damn it, horse! Follow my... <laughs> I don't think you have my best interests at heart. Eventually, they will reach 100% support of you and just do what they say. <laughs> but I like that there's this early game... Yeah, where you're just trying to figure horse shit out. Bye. Was she speaking French? No, she was singing a song. Oh, okay. I don't remember what she says, but... God, horse, God damn it. <laughs> and you have to do, like... Wanna go over here? You have to do reinforcement learning. When it does what you tell it to, you soothe it, and then it gets more friendly. Oh my god, that's so cool. Yeah. That's crazy. That tree's moving. No, it's not. Oh, it is. What is that thing? Oh my god. <laughs> Shalaka! Chicago! <laughs> You I, can see me? I can see you. Shalazar Shalaka! This is my favorite character. Oh, that's Hestu, okay. Yeah, this is my favorite character in the game so far. He is a delight. Yeah. It's been 100 years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hestu, and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas! Oh, I'm already loving this. <laughs> yeah. I think they're still there on the other side of those rocks. You can hear the rhythm and groove wafting over the breeze. <laughs> I can't use my powers without them, so please, please get my maracas back! Uh, I'm gonna do this side quest just because it's- You're goddamn right you are. You you actually need Hesto. Or, for my sanity, I need Hesto. He increases your inventory. I think you guys already have, a like, an aux percussion connection, because you're wearing a headband. Or you're wearing a, a bandana, rather. He right, plays yeah. the maracas. You guys clearly have a lot in common. Oh, okay, see, when it came back Yeah, you back banked around, it off the thing. Yeah. Yeah, get spearing. I'm working on it. Bro. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you don't play Shake as West shit. Oh god. <laughs> you got no groove. Oh, ow. Can you knock him off the yeah, ledge I, there? Yeah. I could. I'm trying not to die. That's my next goal. I mean that that's of primary importance for sure. Yep. Also you have cold resistance. Yeah, that's So if you want to take your clothes off and ow. that would benefit you. Wow, use... those guys are doing a lot of damage. They're the yeah, they're the blue kind. They're more powerful. Oh, of course. Oh my god, I'm out of healing items. That ain't good. Oh wait, this is early game. I can actually just use my materials uncooked and it'd actually be useful. Oh yeah, just eat some raw meat. As one does. Yeah. And some blue night well, don't eat blue night jade, actually. Um Okay, okay there you go. And I got my boomerang back. I, why didn't I pronounce it like that? Boomerang. <laughs> this is how you throw the boom orang, Zelda. Okay, that went poorly, but it did not go uh, according to any kind of plan. I would suggest throwing the boom orang differently. That's from Waterman, time. right? Jeez. It is, yeah. Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's been ages. It I has feel been ages. Yeah. Kind of bad for that guy, actually. Yeah. Hesto's maracas. I can't wait to see what he does when he gets those maracas back. <sighs> oh, yeah. It's gonna be good. <laughs> All right, let's go, Fabio. <laughs> where, where are we going now? <laughs> you know I'm not good at this. <laughs> I'm backing this thing up. My eyes are on my face. Sometimes uh, <laughs> you can actually run them into a tree on accident. If you're if you're full scale galloping, uh -huh. you just go like. Yeah, yeah. He actually, Fabio knew what you were trying to do there. He actually stopped that time, but Maracas. I've definitely run my horse into a tree many times. Maracas. Shalakala! Those are! Those are my maracas! Please give them to me! <laughs> this is not the voice I had from in my head, but I like it much better. <laughs> Shalaka! But wait! There's something wrong with my maracas! The Korok seeds inside are gone! How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? If I just had one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you! Uh, you see, I have the power of inventory expansion, so let me know if you find some Korok seeds! Just small design notes, he expands your inventory and he's got a messenger bag. <laughs> oh gosh. You're right. Whoa, okay, yeah, they clearly had a different voice in mind too. Yeah. Well, he's a, he's a, uh... A child of the forest. Yeah. A child at heart. He's kind of like a... 
Like a plant tingle. Exactly. I like him much better than Tingle. Yes, I do too. Though I have a certain appreciation for Tingle, of yeah. course. Maybe if we move that leaf, Tingle's just inside the whole thing. I wish. I went through that really quickly the first time, and I didn't make sense of the fact that he is using the Korok seeds to fill his maracas. Yeah. Which I love. <laughs> Your weapon stash has been expanded! I still smell Korok seeds on you. Want me to expand your inventory again? Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they call me Korok Beat! I'm the king of the Korok Beat! When I play the maracas, they go chick chicky boom chick chicky boom ra 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 oh. <laughs> They let it sing when I sing the rombero! It's very nice, so full of spice. If you need to get back before grandpa yells at you, sorry I have to go! Expand your inventory! But who do you think grandpa is? My side quest is complete! And I'm playing Maraca Beat. It's probably the Deku Tree. <laughs> but I don't know. I haven't found his grandfather yet. Da -da 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 -da. I can't figure out where the fuck he goes. <laughs> Who? Has to. He would only do two. Does he actually go somewhere? Yeah, and then he goes one other location because he's trying to find his way home. Oh, okay. And so you happen across him a couple times while he's trying to find his way home. Dun 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 That Cuban Pete segment, by the way, from The Mask. Yes. Is one of the most enduringly delightful things I've ever seen. Yeah. It's pretty great. It cracks me the fuck up every time. I haven't seen The Mask in a long time. Neither have I. I feel like I should watch it again. Yeah, we should watch it. We don't like, watch things together, really. We really don't. I don't know- I don't know why. You wanna see Get Out, by the way? I would love to see Get Out. I would too. I've we been should, meaning to see it. We should find time to do that. I also need to see Logan, but I know that's less interesting to you. I would- that's one of the superhero movies that I would see. Sean said it was excellent. Really? Yeah. And I trust Sean's taste in basically everything. Yeah. Um, that makes me feel uh, better about it. I was kind of resigned to seeing it eventually and, you know, at best it being okay. It seems like Fox is starting to get the idea that, like, superhero movies don't have to be all the same genre. Ah. Um, because Legion on TV, also made by Fox, <clears throat> is like a crazy mind fuck and it doesn't feel like a superhero show at all. Hmm. Um, and I've heard the same about Logan. Without actually nice. seeing it. And as I've said, I really like uh, Hugh Jackman and his portrayal, so. Yeah. That's cool. I think well, this yeah. is his last time doing it. Uh, yeah, if I understand correctly, that is true. <laughs> Take Sorry. care out there. Hey, there's a shrine nearby. Hey, there's a shrine around here somewhere, oh, so you know. Oh, it's Kakariko Village. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, but we'll deal with that in a second. I'm going to deal with the shrine. Okay. Because then I can fast travel back to Kakariko Village. Oh, very smart of you. A cuckoo. Uh, Black Black and whatnot. There happens to be a quest in the town, a side quest to get ten of the cuckoos back into a pen, which is a nice little nod to the same quest in Kekrika Village in Ocarina of Time. And welcome, this is my new co-host. <laughs> a chicken. A chicken. Rockadoodle. Whoa, God, okay. Did you ever see that movie? No. Is that a thing? Yeah. What is it? It's a, it's a Don Bluth joint. Oh. From like, the Golden Age. I like his animation style. Yeah, that kind of Disney offshoot, as yeah. he was, I believe. Yeah. I hope I'm not wildly misquoting that. I don't know. Who knows? Don Bluth does. Is he alive? Oh uh, Yeah, he's still alive. No way. Yeah. I don't think he's making movies anymore. Yeah, but... well, gun to my head, I would not have guessed that Don Bluth was still alive. Oh, yeah. He's not tremendously old, I don't think. I thought you were going to say he's not tremendously alive. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's more machine now than man. I am Taloneg. I share with you my knowledge that it may please highly. So, we've got a combat shrine here. Taloneg's teaching! Oh, we do? Okay. Nice. There are a few of these. They normally have decent rewards. Shield of the Mind's Eye? That sounds cool. It is, but I don't have enough room for it. Uh, uh, you should, if only there were a giant rhythmic tree beast that could help you with that. I had enough seeds for it, but- They call me Korok Pete! Uh, I, I should give you a chance to mentally prepare yourself. At every opportunity in this Let's Play, I will sing that. <laughs> God damn it, I should check my inventory before I do this. You really should. This is my biggest frustration with the game, is the... If you open it, and it's full, you should be able to just swap it for something else. Yeah, from that yeah. screen. Although, I'm really glad, like, it was such... a huge improvement that I never even thought about until they did it, when they um, added that feature into Twilight Princess. Yeah. Like, oh, you knock open a chest full of 100 rupees and you don't have room for it? It just puts it back in the chest. Yep. Yeah. 
Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. It's just gonna teach me things I already know here. I but... love that that thing has a little sword. Like, hey, I'm gonna come get you. Uh, let's use the eightfold blade and the shield of the mind's eye. Indeed, let's. Yeah, I'm gonna get you. Uh, I'm gonna give you a chop. All right, there it is. Oh. Uh, I'll give you a chop. How you like that? I'll give you another one. More where that came from. Here it comes. Ah. Uh. Oh God damn it. It's okay. All right, these over things. There, huh? I can get you from that side. These things later in the game have a different attack pattern for their sword, mm -hmm. so I keep waiting for it. And oh, it, for the different yeah, one? Yeah, it's different. It does like a- it spins in its hand right before it attacks, so I keep waiting for the spin. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. Are you, um, uh, fucking up the flurry rush somehow? No, why? It just seems like it gives you this crazy hang time, then nothing happens. No, then. that's- that's how it works. Oh, okay. It does slow-mo for the first second, and then once you land again, you can go in a flurry rush. I see. Yeah. It just slow well, that's not necessarily bad. No. Just Gives you time to realize what's going on. Exactly. But no, how dare you? <laughs> what? Insinuate that I was fucking up. Oh, well, I didn't know. I wasn't I know, sure I'm how it was supposed I'm to work. Kidding. All right, now you're really going to get it. Now I'm going to give you a chop. Uh, you right. like that? Yeah. Where do you go? Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, God. And then you can do the same thing with a parry and get a similar thing to a flurry rush, just like that. Hmm. This is a very accommodating opponent. Well, he's... This shrine is trying to teach the champion the basics of combat. I see. Does this guy know, though, that his only purpose here is for you to destroy him? Yeah. Are you sure? Nope. It's not that he's been training his entire life for this moment? He thinks this is his big opportunity? Yeah, I don't think so. Meanwhile, the the, the shrine guardian is like, Oh, yeah, no, just, you gotta kill that thing. What am I supposed to be doing? Killing that thing. I know, but it said something... I did, I missed it. Me too. Your eightfold blade is badly damaged. Otis. Oh no. Well, I wish I'd been paying attention because I definitely didn't catch it. Mm. Uh, it wasn't the backflip, was it? No, I did the backflip, I thought. Uh. Oh, charge attack, thank you. Oh. <laughs> thank you, game. <laughs> nice. No, I trained my whole life for this. And uh, buy it full blade. It's basically broken. I so require additional folds. So I'm gonna just throw it out. You've done well to learn these crucial skills. Now, proceed. There's some of these later in the game that are pretty difficult. Oh yeah, like the Savage Labyrinth. Uh, it's normally just one guardian, um, but they but have the fights are pretty. Difficult. They have a ton of health, and sometimes they have like four weapons and multiple arms and stuff. Oh shit! I have a laser sword now. Holy <laughs> shit! That's cool. Yeah. And whatever I get from this. Nothing, your inventory's full. Nope, I can carry an okay. opal. Sir. Anyway, we'll be back on the next episode. Of As, As I Played uh, Come on. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I deliberately entrapped you there. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, bye. Bye.